Sunday morning in Aitape, August 9, 1998. It was a bright and a relaxed morning after all those tough days and nights in the hospital for Brother Gary Hill. Everyone else wanted to spend a bit of time for their families. Here, the matron of Raihu Health Center, Lena Miroy, decided to take a trip with her family to visit her parents in Malol village. So, we decided to join them with Father Makario. This trip was arranged especially for the matron's children to visit their grandparents. It has been a long time since the children last visited that area. This was the most memorable trip for them after the tidal wave disaster. This is Waipo River and the bridge that used to be here was swept away by the tidal wave. The bridge came to rest at the upper side of the river. Soon after the wave struck, rescuers had to erect a temporary crossing to ensure access to the disaster areas. On arrival at Telis village, we caught up with the people coming out from the bus for Sunday mass in the church that was half destroyed by the waves. The first Sunday after the disaster was really, it was a lovely mess, but it was a sad mess. When the people came together, there was something in their hearts that they, they were, they wanted to say something to God, but they were just, there was something very depressing in, in their songs and their prayers. But one bright thing about it in the prayer of the faithful, they were thankful for God for the assistance that came from different people around the world. They prayed for the dead and they prayed for those, for those people who helped them in the, on the Saturday before. This is Thales village and this was used to be Scholastica Numbers House and all women who survived the tsunami by faith. According to her story, she was sitting outside of the house when the tidal wave came and covered this area. Kokam, mi pretna, mi arema osplomia. Igoton i guantap i lek bruk. Mi pret mi kalapigoton mi sitan lo buensan. Mi sitan wante molton puna plomi. Man platon puna Mary, em Rachel. Na wan platlas pini Mary plomi makret. Rapel is an open set and black light him lamb. Tempuna. That's all me talking, ma'am. Sorry, you know, light him lamb. Nukut Kori broke him house. Payam pe cook him house. And molim sana pista. Kori ko 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 ko. Pinis. Pilibin inukut plana. Nami plana like. 
sitä on liikkeellä. Nämä melkein meripulomia kanes. Mikä on kisimpa ja ikopeklona on pisla auspulona. En lukin siitä vanta. En kirjaa sinut. Sori, mama. Ai varakili me plana trai plasi. Em lek to kolsem ol kira plong long karem sampla pigni ron. Em karem pigni man. Na pigni meris ta pilai kolos tulomi em lus tintin. Ol kita ron we lus mitu pla. Pigni man plomi si taun si kira pim trai meri plong em paku. Em arem ol sem em kalap Ron, I'm like sing out loud me, me kira Ron, sing the lost two pennies. Me Ron, he calls him, yeah, yeah, see him, fight him like below me. Fight him, yeah, me feel him in on up, Ron, up, me punta. Suit him, me, only me go and tap, suit him, me go down, drink, see, kai kai ves and tas. I know not by me kira, me no cut strong. Mi lagi entai. Atin spirit pulau miro no way pinis. Tes pelatai mino sabe. Si kerapi mi tes lap si ken lu suah kamar. Panis pulau mi ilai peroka. Suti melewat pun pakarap. Nalek mino sabe empen karangki. Wili wili mi koko ko taon long ay berot kar kariron si mi ko nampat usol waray kam taon ni mi lo waratais wili wili mi ko taon an ini ti kuanta kam taon kuanta ambil lagi entai lo tersalatan tasol mista paninit lo si pan plating ting kama plo head plo mi ito Tingin papa, nami tingin papa. Mi tok tok lo tintin, maus mi tren si, nus mi kisimbin wantem si baisan. Mi tingin, mi tok olsa, papa. Isim spirit plomi employu, life plomi employu, tintin i tok tok. Mi lagi entai nak, mi tokol sem. Mi lagi entai, kalau setu teru mintai, tasol. Mi tokol tok tok lo tintin tasol. Wan mi ko antap, mi non tai. Mi ko antap nak mi luki mal tibai terpista mi kisim, mi selip antap. Si kampai timi tau ni mi bantam tibai ko. It was already dark when Scholastica was on the edge of life and death. She cried out for help and immediately one of her sons, Anthony, heard her voice from afar and rushed to her rescue. Still in agony, she reflected her thoughts on the Lord. I stop now, I talk to I pray. Then pula Ave Maria, Mama, Paskin Papa, so mi pula wonem tintin pa mi pula ko. Wonem aples. So mi pula pre pinis. I'm now Antoni to, all right. All right. Pa mi pula wopot night, ko kama blopus, close to lo mountain. Scholastica is the auntie of Matron Lena. She was in shock and pain and could not get out of the bush to receive medical care. After I finished checking on all the victims from uh, Ma Malol Catholic Mission, I decided to come around to Teles because uh, my families were living in Teles. My immediate parents were saved, but my auntie, I heard she was washed out. And I was really worried. I was walking around with a flask, IV flask, some uh, bandit splint, and an IV infusion set to put it to, to put uh, put a drip on on my auntie straight away because I heard she was injured and she needed help uh, straight away. 
when I came around here, I saw that the place was empty, the house was all empty, and I was wondering where she was. I moved up and down several times on the vehicle, checking on her and sending messages for her to come down, but she wasn't able to come down because also my cousins were really upset and they were trying to catch up with their families. And uh, After four days, she was transported to Raihu Health Center where she received medical treatment. It was very sad and heartbreaking for the children when they saw what happened to these villages and especially their grandmother's village. They have lost one of their family members here and by visiting this area again, they couldn't hold back tears and gathered around their grandmother's house to pray. Family blow me play no stable yeah. Only go boost finis, only hide them both sample. Family, me play lose him all. Papa me ask him you, bless him all get a line, blow me only die low yeah. On our play kissing maybe on our play have a tidal wave. Give him strong no only stable boost, only hide, only lose him place. Papa me talk thank you low you. Now you give him all lupla strong, low only start him lupla walk about blowing all can. Long old picking you blown play loose lo this love half papa me ask him you Kiss spirit long on Give me my lolo long on Her name Name long papa and I'm not picking and I blown holy spirit Amen As we continued on to Malol village, we had to leave the vehicle on the other side of the river and walked across the river and to the village. The people seem very relaxed at this part of Malol village and are enjoying the day at the river. The kids also enjoyed swimming in the river. Father Makariu, a psychologist from Fiji, got some lessons on making sago. Originally, Titus Miro and his family lived at the beach a couple of years ago, but decided to move about 300 meters inland. He was very happy to see his daughter Lena and the grandchildren. Further down at Malol Catholic Mission, we caught up with the people coming out from church. Sister Margaret Conway was happy to see Matron Lena and the family. These two ladies were the first to give medical help to the injured people. And I think we, we met up at the uh, classroom over there. That's right. All I know is that that night, when we had so many of them coming into our house and none of us nurses, and we all we could do was get our Detol, a bit aquaflavine and bandages and sticking plaster and try and clean them up um, and as they got worse with the breaks and these huge gashes we knew would have to be stitched. Well it was shocking because everybody was already here and they were they were victims, children and adults with broken limbs, arms, some with sticks still poking through their, their, their limbs like the leg. So uh, 
there was no time to stand around and watch and whatnot. Like Sister Margaret was already here and uh, she did her best, but uh, she, she just rested them. She collected everybody and she left them there in front of a classroom. So when I came, we got straight to work. We dropped down our bags and quickly ran through the patients that were there already, the victims. The sisters' house and the station escaped their destruction on the evening of July 17, 1998. School buildings, church and houses are built some 200 meters away from the sea. But the main Malol village, called Big Malol, could not escape the destruction that evening. More than 100 people died here, and about 4,000 were displaced. We went across to Big Malol, and then I saw just dead bodies everywhere. I just, I think I was as stunned as the people were. I just, um, you felt so helpless. I felt, you know, what on earth's... What's happened here? They're all going up back to the bush where they said there's, uh, there's four camps there. One is Kunai, that belongs to Big Malol, that's Amsor Manyawuyan, and Tanyubin is going up to their own pit of land up in the bush. Nobody's staying down, staying down in the village. Why? They're all just too scared, that's the answer they're going to give you. We tried to convince them to come back and stay at the upper part of where the station is, but uh, it will take some time, I think. <laughs> when visiting the devastated areas in Malol, we caught up with Brigitte Sawa, one of those who survived the tsunami by faith. This is her story. Something came up long Friday, 17. Avenue uh, 3, no avenue yet, something or some 6. Kurei come up. Kurei come up in a long time, and stop. Now, me play around something or some noise or some wind. No, no. Me like a marasite one time, the monkey blow me. Me look or some in a wind. Me like tiny me go to Nambis, me look at Solvareka. Solvareka, man blow me too, same time, and me come and blow later. And me come and tap, and like look, look, go. I'm looking at the area that coincides with the rosary. And the rosary is long, and one time, blow me, I'm going to get my papa. I'm going to get my papa, and the whole thing is going to stop inside the longhouse. Now, I'm going to blow me the sol, and pray to the sol, because I'm going to get my plan wrong, and I'm going to play. Now, I'm going to get my plan wrong, and I'm going to play the longhouse. I'm going to stop the sol, and I'm going to get my plan. Em kodan liglik, nampak tu ikam em yang tap liglik, nampak tiri em ikam ko anta pol kata lo house permit plus miss miss asli blong em, pol kata or something ijek. There were six houses on this area, and Brigitte's house was the only one left on the beach. The other five houses were swept away by the waves. It has been a great loss for these people, 
not only their houses or loved ones or relatives, but the happiness and the village life they had before. Everything was swept away by the tidal wave, and what was left behind is fear and sadness. <laughs>